So, tried flying uh, near Cusco at 11,000 feet, at 10,500 feet uh, where the airstrip is, and it turned out to be very difficult in a Cessna 172 Skyhawk. So I'm just going to go for an aircraft that can sit up a bit higher with a, with a comfortable ceiling. Maybe this or maybe that. What do we think? I, want, I don't want to go too fast, so let's just try the Grand Caravan. No idea how this will fare. I've never flown this aircraft, so we'll have to see. Um, we'll just have a go. So I am running this of a third gen Samsung 970 Pro Evo NVMe. And it still takes an age to load in the scenery. There must be a lot being loaded in. Um, I've got 32 gigs of RAM. And currently, uh, how much of that is taken up? 16, 17 gigs. Um, of course, some of that is OBS. Uh, some of that is base OS. So, you know, how much is flight sim using 10 gigs of RAM at the moment still loading in 11 gigs of RAM very interesting ready to fly let's go and the ceiling should be able to the ceiling on this aircraft should be able to get us over the town a bit better than my previous attempt um, there we go See what this aircraft looks like. Oh, we've got a ghost. That's somebody else, I imagine. Who is that? Oh, they've disappeared. Ah, oh, that's neat. So we're flying with someone, and they're a lot quicker in that little aircraft. I don't know what my Rotation speed is probably around about here, where the bar on the airspeed starts to get green. Does this have a retractable landing gear? No. Quaint. Okay, I like that. Let's see if we are a bit better off than with the 172, which clearly did not fare well here. Um, and so far, I am finding it a little easier. Let's see. I'm having to um, kind of keep an eye on the scenery on my iPad just to navigate and have a chance of reaching Machu Picchu. Picchu. So if you see me looking down like this, that's what's happening. Machu Picchu and then where is the airfield? This goes quite a long way actually. I wonder if I could have picked a better airport. So we're going to, tr I'm just going to aim between those mountains and see if I can find my way. That airstrip is almost in the middle of Cusco. Oh, sorry, not paying attention on the stick. And there's a road goes out of the valley, which I will follow, and then just go hopping from town to town to see if we can navigate our way. So there is the and the scenery again is astonishing. I mean, look at all the detail.
the engine really does a great job. We're up to 13,000 feet and I am recognizing the road from looking at Google Maps. just following the main road which will very quickly turn into not quite such a big road it kind of ends um, right about what I'm obscuring with the aircraft at the moment beautiful surroundings um, and if I keep the aircraft pointing sort of in this direction, I should make it there. We've got a long way to go actually. Um, to go there we are it's, it's going to be a good 15 miles I think Let's see what this cockpit looks like nice lake there over to the right I can spot that on the map so that's useful <coughs> I probably need to turn north by about 10 degrees so let's see So I can see some snowy peaks. I do see some snowy peaks in the on the map as well on Google Earth, Google Maps rather. But I can't be sure that they are exactly the same because the photographic data is different. There's some huge peaks there in the distance. We could intersect with the river and then follow the river, which will be a bit
probably about halfway there now. Let's see if I can uh, give you a slightly better view. This little horseshoe lake might be a good indicator to where we are. Yeah, I think I can spot that on the map. That place on the left there looks like it's called Juaro Condo and I am going to follow it's quite a long way yet so if I follow that valley now I'm going to have to keep flying in this direction. Yeah, if I fly between the ridge and the valley here and bisect that, then Machu Picchu is pretty much straight ahead. Right about this heading here. 297, 298, maybe. Very cool. fairly big site on a very steep hill so and there's also a lot of infrastructure around and a river that meanders around there so there's there's plenty of landscape to recognize for us and you might spot this before I do Well, of course, a little bit. So just back into the cockpit. Maybe our map. No, our map pretty much shows nothing. So we're going to have to eyeball it. And see if I can recognize some of these hills so these hills appear quite rocky and lots of red rock according to my map Machu Picchu is much greener but I guess that could change over time maybe even season by season so depending on when this photography landscape photography was taken we may find that it is somewhat different Of course the river runs to the north of where we are. This peak here on our left, just you know, left of the, the port wing tip could be Hawaiian A. Hawaiian A. 
I am not sure, but I can see the river there down in the valley, and there is some infrastructure down there which looks like it could be Patalakta, maybe? Maybe not. Not quite there yet. We're going over some, oops, over some snowy peaks. So. Basically, if I hit the river, oh, I've gone too far. I'm over YNA now, I think. It's gorgeous. Very mountainous. Is that the river down there? Mm, it could be. Probably a bit further over there. And there are some very snowy peaks. Looks like a river valley. If I reach those really high mountain tops, I may have overshot. I'm still climbing, by the way. Maybe I should take some of the climb out of this aircraft. These mountains are impressive. Okay, so what have we got down there? There appears to be a bit of trying to figure out some landmarks so that I can find my way because I don't think that those white mountain tops are going to be where we need to be but we may have to get over them and then on the other side of them could be Machu Picchu. Now, that could mean I am not even in the right valley if I drop over that in a minute. Am I going to clear that? Maybe. We shall see. We shall see. I think, I think there's still a bit of river going on there so maybe or a road maybe that is exactly where we need to be and this looks interesting this this area this green area here might be Yeah, I think I can recognize these little lakes. So over there, in the green area, the greener part of those hills, could be Machu Picchu. What's this? That looks interesting. Now I know you can type in the GPS coordinates and then just jump straight onto the site, which is nice, 
if you really needed to find it quickly. But I like sort of flying to it, a bit more realistic than being dropped into the scenery. If this river Is that it there? Ooh, there's a lot to explore here. That could be it. So if I was a bit south of it, I guess that's possible. I don't really know. But it might be that this is the site right here. That peak looks rather interesting. And this the way this river runs is a lot like what I would think it looks like on Google Maps. So I'm going to take some height out and see if we can detect the site. Now there is a there is a rather windy road and there is also a heliport that must be it that looks a lot like the site on um, on Google Earth so let's just see if we can drop some height out of here yeah I think we found it that's, that's astonishing. Look, look at the beauty of the scenery here. Okay, I'm going to approach it from... here. That's it, that's my Chu Picchu there. Now, it might be a bit tricky to fly into there. If that is a bowl, I'm going to have to watch out for the walls. So we'll see how low we can get. There is a lot of... A lot of scenery to be careful about. Look at this hill, it is steep. I mean hill, mountain. Here we go, we'll 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 drop in here and see. Oh we're picking up a lot of airspeed. <laughs> this is tricky business. I can see why they just have a heliport here. There's just no way we're gonna be able to land. Well, we can try. It might be a bit um, adventurous. So it takes about 20 minutes to fly from Cusco to Machu Picchu. Uh, we have 40%, 41% fuel left, so we can comfortably fly there and back. Uh, this is a much better approach now. So dead ahead is the Inca city ruins. And let's see if maybe I fly through the saddle point of this mountain here we can see some of the village this is the site now this is it right here so it looks very interesting actually. Now let's turn around and approach it from this valley here. I've had to speed up a bit, we're at 7,900 feet and I'm going to try to turn the aircraft somewhere in this valley. Maybe where these two valleys split. It's not particularly 
agile this aircraft so, so bear with me let's see what we can do oh well, yeah, we're stalling okay fair enough and just there we go go heading straight for it now this should give us a nice view of the site Seven thousand eight hundred feet. And look at that. There you have it. That's Machu Picchu there. Uh, now we can really see the structures. Beautiful. Uh, terrain, terrain. Woo! Right, lovely. I think we have succeeded in finding Machu Picchu, another of the seven modern wonders of the world. I'm going to sign off now. Thank you for watching.